What's up guys, it's Sabai from the Sabai Cartel and we're back with another Sabai Speaks. As you guys know, I rarely talk about spirituality and that is why I said earlier in the year that I was going to talk more about spirituality. So bam, here it is. As you guys know, I, I do practice spirituality. I consider myself to be a very spiritual person and that is why in this Sabai Speaks I want to talk to you guys about spirit animals. And not the spirit animals that you know you hear in LA and all that stuff. This is just like my perspective and my point and I guess you could say quote unquote theory on spirit animals. And I'm mainly not going to go super in depth into spirit animals because the reason why I'm talking about this is because I want to share a point with you guys through this example. What is this example? Well, let me, you know, talk to you guys about the three types of animals. So there are air animals. I guess you could say they're not animals because, you know, they're birds. Obviously, you know, birds fly in the air, but I'm just going to say animals because it's just easier. Okay, so there are air animals. Animals that they're just extremely superior when it comes down you know to being in the air all that stuff then you have the land animals you know these animals that they just thrive on land you know they can't fly they can't swim they're land animals and then you have the sea the sea animals right so like, what the fuck do you mean sea animals man do you mean sea fishes yes guys i mean the fucking fishes and the octopuses and the sharks and shit like that but we're just calling them animals animals in this video damn it but anyways then you have the sea animals and when it comes down to these three types of spirit animals, right, there are pros and cons to everyone. But of course, I'm not going to be talking about that in this Salah Speaks because I'm going to be talking to you guys about, you know, a real life example of why you're just not compatible with specific people, why you might not be compatible for specific people, and why sometimes you just really need to take off the perspective from other people and just apply your own perspective. Like for example, let's say that you want to achieve and you want to accomplish big things in life and then you have that one person in your life that tells you that it can't be done, that it's impossible and that you can't do it and that you're going to fail, all of that good stuff. Well, the reality is you guys are just the same, per you know, you guys are the same but you guys have different spirit animals. You see, the person that is telling you that you can't do that, the person that is telling you that you can't achieve that specific goal, he has the spirit of a land animal. All right, and you have the spirit of an air animal. You see, you're flying, all right? They're on the fucking ground. They can't reach you, all right? They want to bring you down to their level so they can fucking eat your ass, all right? Well, well not, not your ass. God damn it. Never eat asses. <laughs> but anyways, the point is, guys, that, you know, you're just going to meet people like this throughout your entire life. You're going to meet people that are uh, sea animals when you're a land animal right or you're, you you might be a freaking air animal and you might meet people that are freaking uh, sea animals and of course land animals right and you're just not going to be compatible with these people and you know this is just something that you guys need to understand right sometimes other people they can't understand your perspective and they can't understand where you're coming from they can't understand why what you're trying to accomplish because their spirit animal doesn't match up with yours and that's the main point of this Salvaje Speaks, guys. All right, don't try to teach a land animal to fly when he was never meant to fly in the first place, okay? If you are a bird and you can fly in the air, don't try to teach a fish to walk on land or to fly, you know, in the air with you because, again, you're just not compatible. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this Salvaje Speaks. Very weird, very out of the ordinary, but again, I want to you know, sort of start applying my spiritual beliefs in Salah Speaks more because I really believe that obviously my beliefs is what makes Salah Speaks a great series. That's why you guys love it and that's why you guys are going to drop the video a like, of course, if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the Salah Cartel. Check out the Salah Speaks playlist for more videos like this and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Peace.